Hello, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies with TLV. Today we're gonna continue with the bees and also steelworks, right? Like we finished last time. And as you can see here for our tropical bees, if I don't get poisoned, we have some silky comps. Made 25 so far, pretty good. Put them in the centrifuge. Start to cook up there, and we, maybe we can make some silky mesh very soon. And now, let's get the reward for the steelworks. Let's check graveyard soil. Grave... Is this some kind of special thing? Rotten flesh, dirt, and bone meal. <laughs> Heals undead. Wow, that's really easy to make. Why do you need that, though? Is this something we're gonna need? Or yellorium dust? Sulfur and pulverized tin to make yellorium dust. Is it that easy? Wow, they're both shit. Uh, scorched bricks. Okay, steel works. Uh, not so good reward, just a heart. Put them back in. Let's see the next quest here. Uh, Elorium dust. Graphite bar. We need to make reactors. I want this. But I want a reactor in the base. Because if I make a reactor somewhere else, then we're going to get a 70... 25% energy loss uh, by using tesseracts. Tesseracts uh, send 100% of the items through and 100% of the fluid through, but only 75% of the energy. So you lose 25% energy there, which is not that good. Which is not so nice. Wow, this is all drained? Can't believe it. Make some cobble then. Um, reactors. Now that you have a smeltery, hopefully you'll get resource split. You might be looking for more durable materials. Steel is quite tough and it's going to need it if you want to make advanced uh, tie control tinkers, construct tools. Alright. Reactors are the perfect late game power, so it shouldn't hurt anyone. To get started, you make ultimate power. You need yellorium and graphite. Graphite is made by smelting coal or charcoal in a furnace. Yellorium can be processed from nether, uranium, or by combining pulverized tin and sulfur. Yes, I know that. Rutile ore. And we have a lot of these shit. So graphite. Graphite block. Smelted graphite out. Smelted coal? You're kidding me. We need one graphite bar. <laughs> Probably need more though. Let's let's smelt the whole stack, actually. 5,000 coal. I think we can smelt the whole stack. There we go, I saw it. One. Submit. We will get a quest reward. It's so much! Let's put it in here. Uh, we can finish many quests now, I think. Everything is so much faster. Uh, let's get these steelworks. We're gonna read this book. This, I guess that's how you build reactors, it will tell us. Uh, how are we doing here? Sticky pop up, pop up, pop up, it is. <laughs> and we need to put them into the centrifuge again. Silky stuff. Only two. I have eight productions installed though. I 
That's good though. Silky Wisp. Let's get these guys. Only two. Alright. So we have six slots. Uh, what reward do we have? Plutonium. Rutile we have. Nether Uranium we have. Plutonium. Plutonium. Plutonium dust. Plutonium dust. Plutonium dust. What? How do you get this? Ah, uh, this is something you get inside the reactors, I guess. So there is no crafting recipe for plutonium. Plutonium ingots. From big reactors. So we'll get the plutonium here then. Reward and a full heart. Let's use the heart. What happens when you get all the orange? Good reward bag. Okay, let's try it. Fuck. Uh, not that useful after all. Alright. We have the silky things. They make the sieve upgrade. That's what we need, right? We need seven for the sieve. And the woven silk, we need nine. So we need a few more for uh, our bee quest as well. Bees and trees. Alberry sieve. Sieve. Three of woven silk. Oh, we need a lot more. Holy shit. Okay, we just let it run for a little while. Keep running. Meanwhile, we'll continue with the steel quest. High oven controller. High oven high jinx. Oh, a high oven is the only thing that can turn iron into steel. Oh, nice. That's exactly what we need now to finish the for the hoarding quest as well. It is made of the bricks covered in seared stone to hold to hold in the high temperatures needed for refining steel. Follow the instructions in the steelworks book to create the blocks you need to make your first oven. The crafting task. Okay. What is this? Reactor casing. To get started near an infinite power you need to first upgrade a reactor. You will need casings, fuel rods and controllers. The most basic reactor is 3x3x3 three by three by three cube with the Elorium fuel rod in the center of the reactor, controller, power tap and excess port all go in the second level on the middle of the size. The top tier has a reactor control rod in the center surrounded by the reactor casings. Right click then right click the controller and press activate to start the process. The reactor can store up to 10 million RF at a time. <gasps> this is good, so we don't need more lava for our future expansion. We just need um, just need reactor shit. Okay, let's check the steelworks book. I've never seen this book before, so forward. Skip the forward. Uh, like the smeltery, the high oven functions as a liquid tank. It is capable of smelting, uh, melting metals and more. Unlike the smeltery, it cannot contain multiple liquids and mix or mix metals into alloys. Okay, it can't. Mixing metals or uh, uh, materials. Mixing. Unlike the smeltery, it cannot contain multiple liquids or mix metals into alloys. Mixing materials is key. Uh, as time goes on, you will become familiar with oxidizers, reducers, and purifiers. These are properties of materials which lead to robust crystalline structures within your metalwork. The oven can be small as three blocks high, 
or as high as eight for each layer between the two top and bottom layers or more space uh, will be available for cook items uh, within the high oven is multi-block structure you need cementary and following materials to get started high oven controller any combination of 24 source bricks any combination scorch uh, or scorch strains or scorch ducts one faucet Three by three by three. To begin, lay a three by three scorch bricks, continuing on a familiar, uh, similar fashion upward, but leave the center hollow. Okay, so this is just like old style uh, Greg Tech machines, basically. Just like the bottom. What's the fuel? Is it lava as fuel? Then we can build it over there where the other guys are. Uh. It is pointless to build it beyond. Eight blocks in height. Okay. Place the controller in the middle of any layer. Desire you may drain may place your drains anywhere within the structure. The controller must have active redstone signal to burn fuel. Simply placing the lever anywhere. The controller will do the trick. Known oxidizers. The high oven should only be fueled with charcoal or other specialized purified fuels, which do does not create ah, so we can't fuel it with lava. That's good to know. Then we don't have to place it over there with the other um, the tinker's construct smelteries. We can place it in base actually. Do not create unwanted residue to begin with. The chamber. To begin burning the charcoal, flip the lever. Lever. The high oven's internal temperature will gradually increase, and in the time long the fuel will burn. Otherwise, the te internal temperature will have to decrease. To melt metal in the liquid form, the high oven's internal temperature must meet or exceed the melting point of the metal. Okay. The high oven may be used to process any normal metal uh, as the smelter, but it cannot be used to create alloys. Okay. Instead, the raw component materials mixed into the metals and melt to produce entirely different structural formations within the base metal. Known oxidizers. Dissipation. Dissipation is something bad, I guess. We'll, we'll just use coal here. Well, gunpowder is good. We have so much gunpowder. Known reducers. Known oxidizers. Reducers. Known purifiers. Garble text. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's a sponge. Emerald. Aluminium dust, redstone dust. Dissipation. The higher they present, the, the worse? Or better? Maybe the higher, the better. Whoa, this is so much shit to obtain pig iron. <laughs> Ah, this is oh, okay. So we can't just put random things. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So this is like the recipe for steel: smelt iron, oxidize with gunpowder, reduce with redstone dust or aluminium dust, and purify with sand. Ah, it's mixed into metals. These are raw materials and may be not entirely consumed on the basis of their dissipation property. Pig iron. Is that seared stone we need? Scorched brick. Smelt stone. One. With coal, clay and sand. Nether quartz. Smelt one glass with compound resins bearing. But we can make nether quartz. Oh my god. I need that. Ah, okay. Scorched bricks. So I put the regular brick in there and it turns into a scorched brick. Scorched brick. With seared stone. Scorched stone. What is this? Block of charcoal. Blo ah, block of gunpowder. Sugar cube. Deep tanks.
Oh, we don't need deep tanks right now because we have the ta liquids in our system. We can just use the A system for that, I think. Uh, it's scorched. Oh, okay. It's we can we can do it in the old uh, liquid casting table. Uh, so if we, there's a brick there, it makes it turns the brick into scorched brick. If there is a brick with clay, it turns into scorched bricks. Okay, <laughs> okie dokie, let's get started then, and we can get some use for this shit, 64 of these, <laughs> maybe, yeah we have so much, and let's see, um, uh, do, 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 seared, once more seared brick, seared, seared stone. I guess we'll use... First we'll get some seared stone, right? Let's see, scorched. They don't need a lot of amount of scorched stone, but the scorched stone is the material. Then we need bricks, so we just uh, fill that up, smelt up. We so need one casting basin, and we need one table. Okay, 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 okay. Can we do this smoothly? Um, can probably wait a second here. So we need a lot of bricks. And bricks are made of clay. And we do have clay! Put the buckets back, get some clay. Clay can turn into... Smelt it for one brick. Or regular clay can become hardened clay. Uh, that's not what we want. We want clay bricks. How do I make brick again? Oh, that's just for clay. Yeah, that's melted bricks, not brick slab. Well, I can't click the brick slab. Uh, let's smelt up like two stacks of uh, bricks. Oh shit, he has started now. He's smelting rubber bars. And he's smelting raw rubber as well. I'm just gonna get some clay here. I'm sorry to disrupt you. Oh, he's working again. One mega storage cluster. We have four. Soon done with that quest. you back into the system. The system is full. Shit. I wish I could um Okay, let's get all this raw plastic out. Fill up that barrel. And store some other shit here, like some real shit. 
Let's get dust out of there. Get some arrows in there instead. Oh, there already are arrows in there. Don't send that shit over here then. Just gonna get the gas tears. Swap and swap. Good old swapping. Good. Hup. Uh, okay, let's uh, think. We're gonna get the bricks. 56 already. Seared stone. Yeah, 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 we're good to go. Good to go. Okay. Let me borrow him. I'll just send it back to the system, actually. Uh, there's problems with those cows. I can hear it. <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. Shit! Baby cows everywhere! I need to kill some parents here. Move some adults here. There we go. Can you start killing these guys? There we go. How many entities, how many animals are there? Just 105. I killed a lot of the grown-ups, but now there are cows running wild here. <laughs> so do we have seared stone now here? Oh, it's all in the pipes. Let's get uh, some more seared stone there. Put the brick here. I have to do this manually. I guess I could put some... Uh, uh, how could we put this? We're making scorch bricks here now. I can put an autonomous activator here actually. Let's see. Oh, there's a. Uh, I don't know how many we need. Let's make a few first. Uh, that's a more healthy number of cows, I think. And we should have, actually, we should make some bricks as well. gonna make the bricks. Maybe we don't have enough. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh that took a long time. Let's see if we really made that scorched. Scorch. Oh we have to check our system of course. Meanwhile yeah, we have scorched bricks and scorched bricks. But now we're making st stone here. That's not that's not very optimal as well. Actually, this method is more uh, annoying to do. Yeah, this method is not good. Oh shit. But I guess we want to do it anyway. Ok, 
Get it out of there. And then we just... I'm gonna put an autonomous activator here. Let's see if we can do that. Just six more. Okay. Three more. Good timing. <laughs> well, that was pretty smooth as well, actually. Maybe that's better. Okay, that's that's okay. Or autonomous activator. So I'll cook up some more scorch bricks. And we'll be back next episode, I think. He ran back inside. That's amazing. He went back home to mom as well. Alright. That's not okay. Oh shit, we need food as well. Alright, so uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And so see you next time when we continue with Steelworks and Reactors. Bye bye.